this is Free Tarns at the, uh, in the Lake District near Langdale and we're on our way up to Bowfell uh, and I think you'll agree uh, that it's going to look good up there. I've always wanted to do Bowfell ever since I read that Wainwright rated it one of his top six fells and we're coming up here and uh, over there is Catherine. Wave to the camera Catherine. Uh, and yeah look at this weather it's going to be amazing up here. Um, you know, the scenery, the stunning scenery, beautiful. Uh, the drizzle, it's, you know, it's, it's just all, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, I can feel it in my bones. What do you say? Yeah, it's gonna be good there. Let's get the compass and whistle ready. Hooray! <laughs> Let's go! Well, we set off from uh, Old Dungeon Gill uh, about two hours ago. Uh, it was blazing sunshine there, you know, all the summits were completely cloud free, honest. Uh, no, actually, it was looking pretty dodgy down there right then. Uh, but hey, you know, boat fell. Let's, you know, let's rock. Well, Catherine's been up here before. She says, there's a bit tricky to find the summit. And in this weather, whoop, uh, you can understand it's especially difficult, but you know, we're near and you know, I'm still expecting some amazing views and you yeah, know, that cloud is going to disappear any minute now and uh, oh, look at that nice rock, I'm going to have to get close up on this rock, look at that, isn't that a really nice rock? If in doubt of where you're going, always consult your trusty Wainwright. Our Catherine's heading uphill. Uh, um, must be the summit just there, uh, as you can see. Uh, it's very visible. I think the sun has done a good job of building the cloud off. This is the uh, top of Bowfell. Uh, amazing views, uh, as you can see, spectacular sights there of uh, Langdale, uh, there of um, Scarfell, Burnside, whatever. It's all amazing, it's wonderful, it's brilliant. Uh, and I think you can really see, you get a sense today of why Wainwright himself <laughs> classes this as one of his six best fells in the Lake District. Rock on! Both fell, you've got to do a bit of so we call cranks. Turn on the yes then. Well, Wayne Wright suggests two different ridge walks you can do from both fell. One of them is Crinkle Crags, which we thought would be a bit mad in this weather. Uh, and the other one is to Esk Pike, which, uh, as you think you can see, is certainly well worth visiting today. One hope, normally hopes whether will get better as you descend down the hill. Uh, not really happening here today. But it's getting uh, even worse. Well, the end of every walk, especially one where there's been uh, wonderful, glorious weather, amazing views, and uh, visibility is about this part in front of you. Uh, you get to the end and dry yourself off from the driving rain and have a celebratory drink. Ah, the, the wonderful surroundings of the, the old Dungeon Gill, a uh, famous walkers and climbers pub mm -hmm. in the Lake District. And I'm joined here, of course, with my walking companion, famous feminist, mm -hmm. craft blogger extraordinaire, Aww. and of course, uh, both fell expert, Catherine Medford. So, Catherine, how did to today on Bowfell compare with your previous experiences? Uh, well, the view is the same. <laughs> it was rainier. Um, 
I got a bit nervous because I wasn't sure if we were going to get lost and I couldn't find the summit, but I found it eventually and then I made us go a really difficult way off. Um, but it was okay. And that must have, surely the difficult bit must have been your favourite part of the day. Why? <laughs> Well, who wouldn't want to scramble around with absolutely no visibility and, and, and mm. constantly lose the path? It was, uh, it was exciting, I suppose. It was memorable. I'll remember. Uh, <laughs> and what was your highlight of the day? Did you drive the don't know. I don't know. Was, was it the pint? Yeah, yeah, it probably was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that says it all right, doesn't it? Yeah. When the sun came out, when we got to the end. <laughs> That was good indeed. <laughs> well, I think after all that, what else can be said apart from to both out? Mm. <sighs> this is really good, am I getting a ball? <laughs>